In golf, power is often equated to strength. And strength is important. Don't get me wrong, it's important to be strong. But there's other things that allow you to be powerful in golf. One of the things is flexibility. Being able to, to make a backswing where you can turn 90 degrees and resist with your lower body somewhat is, is very important in flexibility, but you're creating power. You're building up tension, almost a rubber band-like motion to be able to then start down and start by uncoiling your lower body but keeping your upper body turned. That's another area of flexibility that's very important. That feeling creates more of an of a, of a unleashing or a, a, a snapback feeling as you come back into the golf ball to be able to hit up against your left side. Flexibility is very important in that area. Leading with the side that's closest to the target. For a right-hand golfer, that's their, their, their left side. If you're going forward with the side that's closest to the target, I'm hitting up against something, that gives me more force, more leverage, more power when I hit. So I'm hitting all up against my left side, my left arm, my left hand, my left leg, my left shoulder. So I'm hitting up against a wall, so to speak. That creates power as well. And then the other thing, or the last thing, is that you have to have speed. And that is the ultimate in hitting the ball farther. You don't have to be strong, but if you're fast, you have a chance to hit the ball as far as you want. So when you do that, when I swing the club through, I'm creating a sound, a swishing sound, and that is that speed. So just making practice swings where you're getting that club to swish through the air as fast as you can but still hold your balance helps create more speed. That in turn creates power. Those three areas right there are going to be a big key for you to have more power in golf.